Hey, guess what? The COVID has been very profitable for some people. Who? Moderna. They got their, their first quarter earnings expectation triples. They blow out their, they blow out. I love when they use blowout sale. You always see those. It's a blowout sale. Oh, you're blowing it out? Oh, I've been to blow in sales, but blowing them out. Uh, Moderna sold $5.9 billion of its COVID vaccine in the first quarter. The first quarter. So that's the first three months, right? Yeah. Uh, so in January, February, March, they made almost $6 billion. So that isn't $600 million. That is $6,000 million. That's what that is, right? Six billion. That's six thousand million dollars, not six hundred, because a thousand million dollars is a billion. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a lot of millions, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions. Uh, the biotech company shares soared by more than seven percent in pre-market trading Wednesday before falling. Its stock was down modestly in afternoon trading. Moderna maintained its full year guidance of $21 billion in COVID vaccine sales. That guidance is based on signed agreements with governments and does not include any orders from the United States. So the final number could come in higher. <laughs> Moderna's first quarter vaccine sales more than tripled over the same period last year when it reported $1.7 billion in sales shortly after the shots first rolled out. The COVID vaccine for adults aged 18 and over, the Spike Vax, is the country's only commercially available product. Really? So Moderna's only commercially available product is their COVID vaccine? What? CEO Steph, Stephane Bansell says Moderna expects stronger vaccine sales in the second half of the year as governments order more shots to get ready for fall inoculation campaigns. For COVID? Holy F. Ba First of all, didn't people get Omicron? Didn't everybody get, almost everybody get Omicron? Doesn't that give you a natural immunity? What are you looking yeah. at? Right. He said that the Moderna also expects to receive regulatory approval in late summer for a redesigned vaccine. That targets the mutations on the Omicron variant, in addition to the original strain that emerged in Wuhan, China in 2019. So they're going to redesign the vaccine. Again, no long term studies. You're going to redesign it. The virus is mutating to become more and more infectious, and there's waning immunity, Bansell told CNBC's Meg Baba Baba Baba. It's going to be really important to boost people in the fall with a better adapted vaccine, which is what we're working towards. I thought half the country got goddamn Omicron in this winter, and that that gives you immunity. That's what I thought. I don't know. Last week, Moderna asked the FDA to authorize its two-dose vaccine for children six months to five years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> the only age group left in the United States that is not yet eligible for the shot. So what risk do you think kids are from dying from COVID? What, 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 what risk do you think? It's so low as you can't even quantify it. That's how low their risk is. Yet Moderna and, and Big Pharma and their captured FDA wants to shoot those kids up. Holy shit. The biotech company is also asking the FDA to authorize its shots for kids 6 to 11 and teenagers ages 12 to 17. 
Moderna expects to finish submitting FDA applications for its pediatric vaccines in the next two weeks, according to the company press release. The FDA gets its money from Big Pharma, just so you know, 70% of it. So we should stop that. No, why do we ever have a conversation about stopping the funding of FDA from the people they're regulating? Why does that ever come up? So because we just accept c- corruption and the F and the people, big pharma own the media. That's why. And you want to know who rules you? You're ruled by corporations. And one of them is big pharma. That's who rules you. Why, how do you know that they rule over you? Because you're not allowed to criticize them correctly. I got to watch what I say in this report or YouTube will take down my channel because we are ruled by big pharma. It's just like the FDA is. Moderna expects to finish submitting the FDA applications and the guy who runs the WHO isn't even a doctor. Moderna expects to finish submitting FDA applications for its pediatric vaccines in the next two weeks. Jesus, HF. The FDA Advisory Committee has set several dates in June to review submissions on COVID vaccines for children. Bansell told CNBC, he is working toward a June launch for the new vaccine shots. Hey, just so you, in case you didn't know, Finland joins other Nordic nations in curbing the Moderna shot. Did you know that? Men under 30 will not be given the Moderna vaccine due to the increased risk of heart inflammation. That's from October 8th, 2021. Hey, Pfizer accused of COVID profiteering as first quarter sales hit $26 billion. $26 billion. Do you know the entire recording music industry in the United States? you know how much money it generates a year? Every, everything from, from Mozart to Snoop Dogg to whoever is current right now that because that I'm out of touch and don't know who it is. Every recording artist. Do you know how much money the whole entire recording music industry generates? The whole music industry generates in the United States $12 billion a year. This one company made more than twice that just in three months. Do you know how much power that gives them? You know what's power? They, well, it gives them all the power. They own the media and they own the politicians. They own everything. They're your ruler. Pfizer has made nearly $26 billion in revenues in the first three months of the year. The bulk from its COVID-19 vaccine <laughs> and the new pill to treat the virus. Boy, have we got some news for you on that Paxlovid. Wait till you... Wait, I... I'm gonna, on Monday, I'm going to be bringing you the truth about Paxlovid. It's not what you think. Uh, the bulk from his public is accusing it. People are saying they're profiteering. No, say it isn't so. Big Pharma is profiteering off of people's sickness? No. Pfizer has faced criticism over its vaccine pricing. And its refusal to waive patent protections to enable others to make the jab. So that's how you know they really care. That's how you know they really care. They won't give away their vaccines to people to help them stay alive. It's got to have a little bit of this. Last week, 35 campaigners from Global Justice Now, Act Up London, Just Treatment, and Stop AIDS they protested against what they call pandemic profiteering and delivered wheelbarrows full of fake money to Pfizer's UK headquarters in Surrey. Uh, Could you see if there's video of that? Okay. Uh, In Surrey on the day of the company's annual shareholder meeting. The New York-based firm posted total sales of $25 billion in the first quarter, up 77% from the year earlier. Of this, $13.2 billion came from the Coleman... Oh, from their vaccine. It developed with Germans BioNTech, driven by global uptake, including jabs for children over the age five and booster doses. The further 1.5 billion came from Paxlovid. Oh, wait till you hear the truth about Paxlovid. A COVID pill for people who are at high risk of severe disease including hospitalization or death. The treatment received emergency approval from the U.S. regulator 
regulator in late December and has been cleared by the UK and the European Union. Pfizer has made tens of billions of dollars during the pandemic from its COVID-related products, as has the Boston-based biotech firm Moderna, which was loss-making until it received, still it started selling COVID-19. So Moderna wasn't making money until they started selling COVID vaccine. That's what that says. So now you know who rules you and why all the reasons why. Well, there's 26 billion reasons why Pfizer rules you, and there's a, a bunch of billion other ones, 6 billion from uh, Moderna. So there you go, and that's why they rule over you. We're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to jimmydorcomedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at jimmydorcomedy.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch. Mm -hmm.